Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show how to open an ephemeral port on Linux. First of all, log into your Linux VPS using the Bitvise SSH client. As usual, it's good practice to update your system before installing any updates. Run the below command to update your system. Install UFW by the following command. We are told in the official UFW documentation that UFW is disabled by default. So, we can check this by running the following command. You will most likely get an output screen similar to this one. The first step before working with UFW is to enable it. To do this, run. If you check the status of the service again then you should get the following output. With this, we now have UFW active on the system. Now we can start working with it and open the ports we need. To open a port with UFW we have to follow this basic syntax. For example, if we want to open port 80 which is where HTTP works, you will get an output screen similar to this one. In this case, port 80 has been opened in both TCP and UDP protocols. Also, it is possible to specify the protocol and port to be opened. This is very useful to further control the traffic. If, for example, you want to open port 85 but only for the TCP protocol then you have to run. To open ports using this method, we need to use this syntax. For example, we use the SSH service. And you will get the following output. In this case, it will open port 22 which is the port used by SSH. If you want to know which other services you can use, you can check them by running the following command. Now I will show you the reverse process. The syntax is similar and we just need to change allow to deny for example. And in this case, port 80 is restricted on both TCP and UDP. Also, you can specify the protocol in a similar way to the above process. Check that the port is not open and Apache is not showing that port. Example, open port 25. Check that IP tables are not showing that port open. Let's add this new port to our system IP tables rules, using the IP tables command. If this command is not yet installed, get it using your package manager. After opening the port, you can check it again with the command. Through this video, we have guided you to open the port on Ubuntu slash Debian or CentOS. Hope this will be helpful for you. 